Alrighty, um, alright, so there's, you know, there's many puzzles in the world. Some of them are very, very difficult to solve, actually. Rubik's Cube, well, this one's not that difficult. I mean, if you don't know how to solve this, you probably shouldn't even be watching this video. Um, this is the 4x4 Rubik's Revenge. Also not that difficult to solve. Solving it fast isn't that simple, but hey, whatever. I actually don't have a 5x5. Disappointing, but I have a 6x6 six six and a 7x7. Seven seven. This video is to show you how to solve a 6x6. Six six. This is Rubik's Magic, just showing you my puzzles so far. Um, so, yeah. 7x7, seven seven, I'll probably make another video on this thing. Okay, so, this is the V-Cube 6. Now, this video is going to teach you how to solve this. Um, if you want to learn how to solve it, first things first, you have to learn the steps of it. So, first things first, there's not really that many algorithms to this. I mean, I will probably teach you notation, but I don't think it's really that difficult to do. I mean, for example, in uppercase you, yeah, this thing. It's not really that hard at all. So, anyway, let's get started. First things first, let's scramble this thing. Now, this is going to be a beginner's tutorial. There's a lot of faster ways to solve it. But this way, if you just follow this, at least you'll be able to solve it and maybe even press your friends with it. So now, this isn't any set scramble. I'm just, you know, just scrambling it just for the fun of it. So now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to solve on the blue side. Because it really helps me with my color orientation. I don't always start on blue. I mean, in this case, actually, yellow would be nice. But blue helps. So, we're going to start on the blue. So, let's look around the cube first. Hmm, okay. So now, what we're trying to do is if you see these three pieces, there's a blue here, a blue here, and a blue here. What we're trying to do is get it to be a solid row, like that. If we can get four of those solid rows, we can make one complete center. So here's one row. So now I scan the cube around it, and let's see, what other rows do I find? Okay, I think, I see that if I take this and I move it over that way, and I see this piece up here. If I move it over to this way, and this piece will match up with that. So if you move it up, you've got two there. Now, I've got to be very careful to not disturb this row that I've got here. But, at the same time, I've got to form all the other centers. So we've got that there. Oh, and we already have this piece set up here. So if you just bring these two rows down, there we go. It's a second one. So now we move it down. And down. There we go. That's half of the first center. So let's see what else we got. We got these two here. So now let's find the blue piece that'll go. Actually, this piece, if I rotate it, I can see that this piece will be up here. So this if this piece is up here, I've got to find some way to bring this up, move this over, and bring it down into here. So what I'll do is I'll do this. I'll move just this row up, move it over, and bring it back down. So there's three of them. So we've got to find the fourth one. Where's the fourth corner? Hmm. Oh, there it is. All right, up top here. So we line it up here. Make sure this is in the top, and bring our corner down. Move it over and bring these two rows back up. That way, now that we brought these two rows back up, we can bring just this one down, and that's three of them. So now the fourth one is usually the easiest because it's really, really not that hard to find all the pieces. Here's one. Here's the second one. So if I move this, this is already in the top. See the centers. One, two, three. There's four rows. This one's in the third row. So, so is this one. So if I move it up, it'll line up. And so far, we haven't disturbed anything of our blue centers yet because of that turn. That didn't do anything. However, we need to line this up, find this next one. Where is it? This one's right here. So move it into the third row there. So now if we bring both of these two down, once again, we haven't disturbed our blue. But we got the three here. So let's find the fourth one. And where did it go? There's the fourth one right there. So move it so it's into the third row. And bring it and line it up with this blue one. Now that you've got that, move it up, move this one down. And that's your first center. So now what we're actually going to do is we're going to solve the center across. We solve the blue center. So we're going to solve the green center. Now, the only problem with this thing is, is because it's got an even amount of sides, you can't really tell 
whether it's, you can't really tell which side is supposed to be the green side. So now you have to remember the color orientation. First things first, if you remember blue, just solve the blue side and then remember the green is across from it. If you remember that, you can solve the first two centers. So now this second center is going to be a little bit more difficult because in the second center, we have to match it up without messing up the blue center. So it's basically like a call and response. When you move a side up and you move stuff out of the way, you have to make sure that you move that side back down. For example, let's see. We've got these two pieces here. So let's find the pieces that would fit in there. Oh wow, we've already got this. Well, that's helpful. Actually, just to solve that, we have to find the corner here, right? So let's see, here's the corner. We move it up, line that up, move it over and move it up one more. We've actually already got half of our center. I didn't think that was going to happen. However, you need to worry about the other two now. So we've got this one and this one. And I actually wasn't paying attention. And I see this blue one, I moved it out of the place. So what I need to do is I need to move this one, these two over and move this blue back down into its place. So now I didn't, I've got my blue here. I've got half of my green up here, which actually is in the wrong spot. But I, di I didn't disturb anything yet. So now we've got this half. So look at the second half here. Got this one, this piece here. This is in what? The second row, right? So let's find one that will be in the second row. If I change this piece, if I move it down, it will be in the second row. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this piece out of the way, move it down, and move it back up. Let's find another one. That one's going to be a corner. That one's not going to help us right now. What else is going to be in the second row here? Hmm, okay, this one will be in the second row. However, I think we already have a piece like that in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to move it over one more. It's still in the second row. And if we move it over enough, it lines up. Last one. Let's see. This one will be in the second row because I move it over twice. There we go. Let's move it up. Now, this is an algorithm that you should have learned in order to solve a 4x4. Four four, except it's going to be a little bit different. Now, let's see. If I move just this green up, and move this one back down, look where my blue one. I just want that to stay in there. There's nothing wrong with moving it up, but you have to be able to move it back down. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to line it up here, underneath the one here. So if I move it up, I move this piece up here, right? This whole row I moved up here. So I move this blue row here. So if I do a U2, I make it an open slot here. So if I do an RI, if I do an R inverted, I'll move this green one back down, and I'll fix the blue one. It's, it's not really all that difficult, it's just you have to think about it a little bit. So we've got this green one here, let's find our last pieces. This one will go like this. There's those, there's this one here. Sorry if I'm maybe going a little fast, but I'm just trying to fit this all the centers into one video, which I realize now that isn't going to happen. But hey, whatever. So after I get these two centers, I'm probably going to make another video on the next two. So let's find that last piece. Oh, it's already there. So what we have to do is we can move it up, over, and back down. So let's see. Where did I put my whole my setup row there? There we go. So where did it go now? I moved it. There it is. So now where's my green? Here we go. Here. Once again, move this underneath, move it up, move it to, back down. So now you got the green center. Sorry, I have the tripod. And you got the blue center. So now basically you have to do the same thing except you have to do it on this side. And you have to solve the yellow center next. So I mean I'm just gonna do the yellow center. And I'll show you, see we've already got this piece here. So we're going to do the yellow center. I'm going to do this like normal speed just for a second. And by normal speed, I mean as fast as I can do it to try to save time here. But you have to understand that I'm not Yu Nakajima, so it's not going to be like a 30 second center thing. Um, we've got this here, we've got this, let's see, here, that piece right there. Last one. So there's that one there, that one there. Oh, 
Okay, yellow center. So now I'm just going to finish it up and make this black center. Um, and then the last two centers are a little bit different. So I'm just going to eh, I'm just going to start the next video with the black center already made. It's not really all that difficult to make, so you get the idea. All right. Look out for part 2.